<laughs> Hi, friends. Welcome to DOSBox. Um, today we're going to start an all-too-short look at Secret Weapons of the Luftwaffe, the 1991 light sim from Lucasfilm. Not LucasArts. At the time, it was Lucasfilm. Ah. Uh, I never played this back in the day, and I cannot tell you why. I played Battlehawks, and I played Their Finest Hour. I loved those. I played the hell out of those. I loved flight sims. I played all. I played any flight sim I can get my hands on back in the day, apparently, except this one. I don't know why I never played this one. I, I, I just... Wait. Hang on. One, two, three, choose one to four. Uh, huh? Okay. Uh, anyway. Uh, yeah, I don't know why I never played this back in the day. But we're going to play it now. Uh, today, I figured we'd do some... Um... It did, David. Thank you. Today, I figured... Since we have three days with this, today we'll do some training missions and historical missions. Tomorrow we'll do some tour of duty. And then Thursday we'll do uh, Thursday we'll do the campaign. There are multiple ways to play this game. Uh, there are single missions for training and historical missions. You can make single missions in this game, which we're not going to do. Uh, there are tours of duty which are a string of missions, 2015 to 25 to whatever, uh, depending on the aircraft you pick. And there's a campaign when you get to actually uh, choose the air war. So um, we actually get to command the air war, which is pretty impressive. So there are, this, this thing is a wash with content. Uh, it also had four expansions that added like the P-38 and a couple of, like it added two American planes and two German planes. So there is just a frack ton of content with this game. <laughs> Let's dive in. Yeah, uh, the copyright protection has been, um, has been removed, thankfully. Now enjoy this very old, oh, not yet. Got to do this first. Remember the days when you had to do this? X-Wing was just two years after this, you guys. This was 91, X-Wing was 93. I read through the manual. The manual looks a lot similar. This is very similar to the X-Wing manual. <laughs> similar fonts, similar iconography. Look at this. Look at it. <laughs> you can never get past the calibration? Oh, that sucks. Okay. Uh, yeah, we can just hit her. All right, so we're going to, you know, go with the Americans. I guess we can figure with, fiddle with the Germans as well, but we should go with the Americans for now, at least to start. So, like I said, there's a million ways to play this. There's the flight school, which, uh, yeah, you know, the game only came with these four originally, and then you got to, then the expansions add the P-38 Lightning and the P-80. Um, you have historical missions, of which, as you can see, there are several. So there are dozens of missions. Dozens of missions. Uh, so you can make your own missions. You can make your own uh, missions if you want to. There are tours of duty based on the airplane you want to fly. Hang on. And there are campaigns, which are fully directed, uh, fully directed air wars that you command. You command everything in the air war, which is impressive. 
So today I thought we'd do some flight school and historical missions. Tomorrow we'll try a tour of duty. And then Thursday we'll try the campaign battles just to give a sampling of the immense amount of content this game has. So let's do flight school first. Um, so my favorite plane of World War II is the P-47. I, I, I love a good heavy... I love a good heavy plane. I love a good heavy dogfighter slash attack plane. Um, so I love the P-47. It's kind of the precursor to the A-1 Sky Raider, which was then, of course, a precursor to the A-10 uh, Warthog, which is my uh, favorite plane of all time. So the P-47 kind of has a through line to uh, the A-10, which is my favorite plane ever. Uh, no, I love the Mustang. Don't get me wrong. I love all these plans. I, don't get me wrong. I love the Mustang. Mustang was a revolutionary plane that helped us win the war. Absolutely. But my favorite is the P-47, followed by the P-38. So let's, we're going to do, uh, we're going to do some practice. Now, there are no targeting controls in this game. I had forgotten about this, but these games do not have targeting controls at all. So, uh, you have to uh, hopefully hit the right target. I've got all the keyboard commands printed out right here. Uh, so, let's do some gunnery practice. This is going to be fun. Uh, hang on. Okay. Gunnery practice. So there's the map. The map they basically use. Hey, I will not brook any dis. I will not brook any negativity toward the P forty seven. It is a wonderful aircraft. How dare you? <laughs> Largest, heaviest, single engine, single seat fighter in World War Two. Yeah, your mission. Oh, okay. Uh, oh. Your mission will not end automatically. Please choose how to quit. <laughs> Please choose to live. Um... So, I like how you can change these to unlimited. We're going to use that. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, you can have limited fuel. You can switch between fuel tanks. Oh, I believe it. Okay, so let's... Uh, let's start. Okay. Look at this, you guys. Look at it. So yeah, there are no targeting controls. You're just expected to look around, basically, and find your target, find your next target. I'm probably not close enough. I love how 1991 graphics, Joe. I love how it's a blob of something. Do you get close enough? And it starts making an actual shape. All right, you've been credited with an aerial victory. Where are the other guys? There's three other fighters. Where are they? I saw one back here somewhere. And that one over here. Look at these graphics, you guys. Classic, 1991. Or is that the plane I just shot down? I don't know. Let's shoot it anyway and see. Is that the plane we just shot down, or is that another plane? Hang on. Where are they? Oh, there's one. Oh, there they are. They're over there. Okay. Whee! 
Where'd you go? Where'd you go? I saw you. There you are. Hello. Wow, it's hard to see you with that blue background. I'll tell you what. Yeah, oh wow, I can barely see this thing. Look at it. Look at it. Well, it's not unfair. Wind Commander did come out a year before this, but then again, there are two games that came out before this in this series of World War II flight sims. Um, come on. That, uh, that had side views and whatnot. Yay! Okay, ooh, look at that. Look at that. All right, where are the other guys? Oh, there's one over there. My nine o'clock. Yikes! What the? All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, there's one of you. You son of a bitch, I see you. Gain some speed again. You lost a bunch. All right, come here, you bastard. <clears throat> I do appreciate that these guys aren't shooting back at me. That's nice. That's very polite of them. Something's going on. Oh, that's what's happening. Like, why can't I? Why can't I? Sh why am I not shooting? Because I was still on the ten o'clock. I was still on the ten o'clock view. Like, why is this all weird? Because I was still on the ten o'clock view. It said ten o'clock right there, and I missed it. Okay, here we go. Yeah, yeah, this is made by the same devs who made X-Wing and TIE Fighter. They made two more uh, World War II flight sims before this one. Uh, Battle Hawks 1942 and uh, Their Finest Hour. Son of a bitch. Overshot. And uh, then they made this one. So I think Battle Hawks was what, 88, 89, I think. And then I think, uh, I think their finest hour was 1990. And then this was 1991, uh, into 1992 with the expansion packs. And then, uh, and then, yeah, uh, 93 is when, of course, X-Wing came out and then 94, is when uh, is when um, there you are you son of a bitch okay 94 is when TIE Fighter came out so these guys were busy these guys were really busy and then they took a few years uh, they took a few years to make uh, oh they took a few years to make uh, where are you it took a few years to make uh, X-Wing versus TIE Fighter. Is that the one that... Is that one that's crashing? Oh, yeah, you son of a bitch. Oh. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Calm down, game, calm down. Jeez. All right, where's that last guy? Where's that last son? Where's that last son of the bitch? There he is. All right, I don't want. I don't want to overshoot him again. Hey, Luke. Happy Tuesday. I hope it is a happy Tuesday for everyone. Get back here. Okay, now I'm gonna have to speed up to catch up to this guy. You know, number two, I have I have uh, developed a new appreciation for X Wing versus Tie Fighter um, because I like. Of course, it's not as good as Tie Fighter. Nothing really. Very few games are. Maybe Free Space Two, and that's it, in my opinion. But um, once you once you actually like get going with a game with people, it's really an impressive game. It really is an impressive game. It's got so many ways to play it. It's got really good campaigns, actually. It's got really good campaigns. Yeah. 
Ah, yeah, I see. So there's a thing that'll tell you whether you're in... You see that? Enemy airspace? If you quit over enemy airspace, you'll get captured. Get back here, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I don't know if you can... I don't know how that's... I don't know if that's possible. Oh, God. It is 10 o'clock, isn't it? Jeez Louise, Ruben. Thank you. There, like, why am I not hitting you? Oh, because I'm still looking at 10 o'clock. Come back here. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. All right. I think I shot down all four. We are over enemy airspace. So, where are we? Uh, oh. Okay. So, we're here. That's us, right? That's us? I think that's us. Yes. Oh, that's us right there. Okay. Uh, so, we need to head north or west. No. I, I guess. No! I... I wanted to exit the map, not the game. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Give me a sec. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> sorry. <sighs> oh, boy. <laughs> sorry about that, guys. Okay, no, no, no. Okay, no more escape, apparently. Uh... Yes, yes. Okay. All right. Um, so not do that again. All right, so now let's try a ground attack. Uh, ground attack. Uh, all right, so what are we doing? We're over here. Briefing. Okay, there are buttons that let you switch which weapons you're doing. Hang on. Uh, which controller? Okay. Your P-47 is lined up with the Luftwaffe airfield. Use the Thunderbolts machine guns and two bombs... Oh, I'm so I'm sorry, Rob. Um, hello, uh, Ben, Ben, Ben. I'm just gonna call you Ben. Good morning. Uh, I'm sorry, Rob. No, there's no remake of this. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get your hopes up. I've, I'm doing a series of classic pre 3D acceleration flight sims. Uh, I've been inspired by um, Tiny Combat Arena to uh, play a lot of these old sims, and I never played this one back in the day. So I'm excited to uh, check it out. I wish I could say why I didn't play this back in the day. I don't know why I didn't play this back in the day. Honestly. I played just about everything else. I was a little spoiled as a kid. It's a, it was weird. Um, oh, thank you, David. Um, yeah, there's a post on the blog listing out all the Sims I'm going to be playing for the next several months. Um... Okay, so oh, oh, I didn't know the joystick commander. That makes sense, actually. Okay, so let's start. G. Uh, bombs are armed. Time to blow some shit up. Mm hmm This is one of the reasons I love the P-47. It was such a good... Such a good... Uh, 
Oh, hey. Those are planes. Those are airplanes. Oh gosh, those are airplanes. How do I drop bombs? Hang on. How do I drop bombs? Control button fires cannons or machine guns. Okay, so I've... What? Oh, return drops the bombs. Oh, that's a fun sound. That's a fun sound. Oh my god, on a cassette tape player. That's amazing. That's amazing. All right, hang on. Let's... Don't want to stall. Don't want to stall. It's just all cannons all the time. All right, well, let's drop some bombs. Okay, we blew some stuff up. That's good, that's good. Ooh, flak. That's fun. Flak is fun. Oh, yeah, we totally have all the unlimited stuff. If, if they give me that option, I'm going to take it. Because the last thing we want to see on these streams is 90s difficulty getting in the way of our fun. Absolutely. So, yeah, we are definitely not... We are definitely going to use all the... Uh, all the unlimited bombs we can. Those look like some parked uh, airplanes. Let's see if I can take them out. Okay, that's a pretty good. That's a pretty good wrecked airfield. I would say. Ooh, I like the flak. I do like the flak. I like the flak a lot. I mean, you can turn unlimited ammo off if you want. I'm just not gonna. <laughs> All right. Let's do one more bombing run. Then we'll try another plane, because why not? These towers are tough. Why am I not hitting that damn thing? You're in enemy airspace, huh? Okay, I'm gonna hit exit. Okay. Oh yeah, we were to we were totally uh, we were totally just talking about that, Rob. Come on, look at my channel name and think I don't know that. <laughs> oh hi cafe spy thank you so much that's very kind of you thank you so much uh th thank you very much hey uh hey ben hey ben hang on hang on Don't you worry, sir. 
<laughs> we are definitely going to be revisiting this one. <laughs> Don't you worry. <laughs> we are definitely, <laughs> definitely going to be revisiting this bad boy uh, in the coming weeks. Don't you worry. Uh, hello, my friend. Uh, I love you so much. Okay. <laughs> No, 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 no apologies needed, Rob. You don't know. You didn't know. It's fine. I was giving you a little crap, but yeah, no apologies are needed. Uh, hang on. Wrapped around the thing. It is wrapped around the thing. Hang on. Okay, now it's not wrapped around the thing. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, I am, I am, this is one of the games I don't have a physical cut, uh, a box for. I just, uh. Because these things are these things are expensive, so I only have the the disc. That's all I have is for this one. Um, so sadly, no box for this one. Um, um, all right. So anyway, I do like how you can pause the game at any time. I do appreciate that. Okay, where's the airfield? Oh, it's over here. Wait, nope, it's over here. There's the airfield. There you are. Okay, there's still one building I haven't taken out yet. And four grounded fighters, so... Oh, so it's all cannons anyway. Nice bomb effects for 1991, honestly. Oh. I want to stall. This game loves. Yeah, I'm not sure why this isn't on GOG. Licensing, probably. That's why a lot of games aren't on GOG. Some weird licensing uh, somewhere along the line. So why this one isn't on GOG, I have no clue. Oh. So it was called Flight Simulation. That's a that's actually a great name for a thing. Oh. Hey you guys, I've been credited with a ground victory. Okay. That's good, that's good. All right, let's drop some bombs on this motherfucker. There we go. That's more like it. Okay, so we are, I love how it tells you you're an enemy, you're over enemy territory. All right, so to get back to friendly territory, um, well, it's a training mission, so let's see. Yes. Okay, yay! Losses won? What did we lose? Oh, yeah, so if you hit Q over enemy territory, uh, you, you lose your plane. No. All right, so let's try one of the other ones. Um, let's try the... Oh. Let's try the Mustang. Dogfight trading. Well, let's do that. <laughs> Sorry. Hang on. Do you want to? <laughs> I wonder if this actually uses MIDI. I have to check. Oh, that's it? That's all we get? That's all we get. Because I have MIDI units, but, 
Not a lot of game. You, I don't think a lot of game. You games used them in 1991. I'm not sure though. Okay, so let's try the flight school for the uh, light. The uh, no, 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 no. The uh, the Mustang. Yeah, dogfight training. Okay. Uh, briefing. BF109s. BF 109s and FW 190s are going to arrive. Okay, so we're doing unlimited. No, no, no. Unlimited everything. <laughs> no attachments. Okay, that's. But no attachment. Okay. Um, I still have a sound blaster in this computer, actually. I, uh, I, I've had a sound card in every computer I've owned since 1991. Yeah, first I got an ad lib, you know, to play Wing Commander and all that. And then, you know, I got a Sound Blaster. And I've just had Sound Blasters in every computer since, in, including this one. Uh, I'm old school, so I, I believe in a dedicated sound card. And always will. All right, let's see. Ooh, hello. I'm going to get you. I'm gonna get you. Oh, got one. Where's the other one? Where's the other one? Is that my friend? Is that my friend or is that the enemy? I can't tell, cause I can't target things. Whoa, whoa, hey, Dizam, Dizam, whoa! They shooting. Oh, 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 I'm going to stall. Okay, well, yikes. I know, I know, I know. Oh, there they are. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Okay, those are my friends. I'm not going to shoot them. Uh, where's the bad guy? Where's the bad guy? Well, maybe they're behind me? To my side. Where are you, fella? Oh, there you are, you son of a bitch. I know, right? Uh, ben, yeah, I do. Th I do think that dedicated sound cards are definitely better than uh, onboard, you know, motherboard sound. But uh, that just might be me. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a sound nut. So I think that's my uh, my friend over. I think that's my friend. Yeah, it's my friend. I think that's my friend. I'm actually, I'm not sure. You can't target things in this game, so I don't know if that's a friendly or an enemy. Now, this thing is definitely more nimble than the uh, P-47. And I like how the game models that. Oh, there they are. Oh, hello. So, wait, you're the same color as my, uh, my friend there. Okay. Oh, they're hitting me. Okay, well, good thing I'm, uh, good thing I'm invincible. Oh, what's happening? Ooh, ah, okay. Was that a friendly or an enemy? I can't tell. Oh, my gosh. All right, I guess none of them are my friends. I thought I had friends. Whoa, whoa, I'm pushing down the stick. I'm not trying to stall. What are you doing, game? Game, I'm pushing down on the stick. I am not trying to stall. Oh, my God. Game. Game, what are you doing? Game, what are you doing? Okay, yeah, I did not do that. I don't know, game. Why are you not even following? Game, come on, game. There we go. There we go. There we go. No, I'm invincible. I would have been shot down by now. Um... 
All right, so I guess none of these are my friends. I thought I had a wig mate or something, but maybe not. Maybe they're all... Maybe it's all just uh, enemies all the way down. So where are you? What was that? That was wacky, dude. Oh, and again, I was flying at the 10 o'clock position. I, I was looking at the... Oh, come on, Ruben. Get it together, Ruben. Come on. Get it together. Oh, you finished Mech Warrior 2. Wow, that's a good one. Ghost Bear, just... I don't know if you know, but... Um, Ghost, Bear le Ghost Bear's legacy is hard as balls. It is, wow, that's a fun sound. Get back here. Get back here, you bastard. Where'd you go? Where'd you go, you son of a bitch? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go, you son of a bitch? I had you in front of me, you bastard. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go, you son of a bitch? Where'd you go? Actually, where did you go? That's freaking weird. Yeah. Yeah, Ghost Bear's legacy does not mess around at all. Like, you think, if you think the, yeah. You might finish the main campaign and go, that wasn't so hard. Ghost Bear's Ghost Bear Legacy is there to slap you in your face. There you are, you son of a bitch. In a little speed. Where'd you go? Again with this guy shooting at me. Okay. My plane's about to stall. I'm at full throttle, you bet. You, you son of a... I'm not even going that high an angle, you... I'm gonna get you. Or not. There we go. I think I just saw a pilot eject. That's fun. Okay. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Wow, I can barely see that green on green, you guys. <laughs> no, 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 no.
I see you. I see you. think i don't think mech warrior 5 was a hit at all so i i'd be very i would be very surprised if we saw i would be very surprised if we saw another mech warrior game honestly because mech warrior i don't think mech warrior 5 was any sort of hit uh at all so where are they oh yeah There's uh there's no throttle control for the joystick, so I have to keep, you know, using the plus and minus keys. Excuse me. To to keep changing my throttle. Come on. I tried to play Mech Warrior 5 and I found it so dull. I only got through like two or three missions like wow this is so boring. And then I just never played it again. I just never felt like going back. How am I not hitting them? There we go. Jeez Louise. All right, so I have to head south. West. Let's. There is time acceleration. Hang on. Right? Yes. Alt T. Let's head. What is that? Sit like 265. 260, something like that. Um, exit. Right now, we're over enemy territory, but... Yeah, next week we're going to play a game called Super VGA Harrier. It's a remake of a game called um it's a, it's a remake of a game called uh AV8B Harrier. Uh Super Harrier, I think, that or Harrier that uh it's claim to fame was it's the first v Super VGA flight sim. That's why they uh rebranded it and resold it. All right, so where are we? Okay. No, no, geez, Louise game. All right. So now we're gonna fly back to friendly territory before we quit. Yeah, I know I'm heading for my home field, wherever that is. Where is my home field? Is it one of those American fields right there? I don't know which one's my home field. Oh, that one. I see. Okay. Okay, so if I click on that, okay. Ah. Bearing 248. Oh, that's nice. Okay, hang on. 248. Oh.
There we go. Okay, now we're flying at 16 times speed. Oh, I love the Earth Siege games, yes. Well, no, there was Earth Siege 1 and 2 and then Star Siege. It's all the same series. Um, but yeah, no, uh, Mission Force Cyberstorm is one of my favorite mech games ever, and that's in the uh, Earth Siege series. Oh, so I can press Q to quit now? Oh, I didn't lose my plane. Yay! Look at that. I downed everything. Okay. Now let's do one more mission as the uh, in the B in the B seventeen. Uh, no, why would I want to fly the same mission again? Okay. Uh. Oh, Cyberstorm. Yeah, the first game. The second game isn't bad. It's just not as good as the first one, but. Mission Force Cyberstorm is so great. Genome. I remember Genome. Yeah, sure. All right, so let's do one more flight school with the bomber this time. Bombing practice. Ooh, okay, hang on. There's a lot of keys. A lot of keys for the, uh, for the good old bomber. On a pilot. A lot of keys for the bomber. Let's see. Um... Ah, the bombardier station. There it is. Um, let's try a bombing practice. I don't remember much about Genome, but I do remember it. I just don't remember much about it. I don't know if I played it much. What was that mech game by Interplay? Um, God. Shattered something. It was really great. Uh, I got to remember what this is. Shattered Steel. That's it. That, I love that one. I don't know if you all played that one. That one was really, really great. One of my favorites, actually. Shattered Steel was great. Yes. Yes. Shattered Steel is so good. I love that one. Loved, 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 loved that one. Okay. So, uh, oh, it's on GOG. It was like one of GOG's first games. I think it might have been one of the first games GOG had uh, back in the day. Uh, yeah, I loved Shattered Steel. I played all, I played a ton of those mech games. Um, I never played the first Mech Warrior though. I hear it's very good, but I've never gotten around to playing the first Mech Warrior. I started with Mech Warrior Two, and then just played every other Mech game I could find at the time. <coughs> I like that it was gamey. All right, uh, so there are a lot of controls. There are a lot of controls for the um, for the bomber. Oh, 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 oh. All right, hang on. Oh, excuse me. Novel release switch to automatic. Okay, well, let's... Oh, my God. Okay, so autopilot is on. Then we're going to switch to the bombardier position. And it's auto... Oh man, I wish I could play. I wish I could play. What was that one that came with the controller? Uh, it wasn't Chrome Hounds, but it was uh, the one that came with like the really uh, expensive controller. Oh god, um, there was an Xbox game that came with like a controller that like took up your whole desk. It had two joysticks on it and a bunch of buttons. Oh, hang on. 
What was that game? That Xbox... Hang on. Hey, this has a pause! Thank gosh. Uh, I like that it has a pause. Xbox mech game. Steel Battalion! Yeah, that's the one. I wish I had gotten around to playing that one. I wish I had gotten around to playing that one. But I never had an Xbox, so I never played that one. Um... But yeah, Steel Battalion. Oh, man. Okay, so how do we drop bombs? Is it, uh... Is it the Anarchy again? Ah, uh, locks target. What target? Oh. Oh. I'm not seeing a target. Oh, how was it, Ritu? Oh, there we are. Okay, so that locked the target. And then the, you have the countdown timer that tells you when to drop. And here we go. Oh, it did it on its own because it set the auto, I guess. Did not do it. No. That's pretty cool, though. I don't think I hit anything. Julie, I'm playing as the best side in the world, America. Change. Okay, gunner. Oh, ooh, gunner. Ooh. 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 Look at that. Oh, yeah. We quit over enemy territory. So, um,. Yeah, no, I believe it, Spock. Uh, I tried to buy one of those once, the Steel Battalion controllers, because apparently you can make them work with PCs if you download some uh, homebrew software. But I couldn't afford them at the time, and they were only about two or $300. If they were still two or $300, I might buy one today. But, uh, but uh, yeah, no. <laughs> Not for two. Th yeah, uh, hang on a second. I'm I'm actually insanely curious now. Come on, look at me. Okay, uh, 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 steel battalion controller. There we go. Steel. Because I now have an Xbox 360, which I think would run steel, which I think would run steel battalion. Um. I, I heard that the actual game of Steel Battalion wasn't great. 
Oh no, here's one. Here's one. Uh eight hundred and fifty dollars. So eight hundred and fifty dollars, but that's with the game as well. Um in the box. But yeah, I remember hearing the game itself wasn't that great, but uh but uh, apparently yeah, I'm only finding whoa. Oh, I'm not I'm not spelling it right. That's the problem. Steel Battalion. Oh, there's one. $288. $500. Let's see. Steel Battalion controller. I still want one. Yeah, the the cheapest I'm finding right now is $288. Which isn't terrible. But still, oh, I'm going to save this. And if I find, I, I, I tell you, if I find one that's under 200, I am, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to get that. Because apparently you can make it work with a PC. Um, and apparently, I, uh, someone told me they use it for Evercron uh, Legacy, and it's amazing for Evercron. Uh, so, yeah, I, uh, yeah, I would love that. Yeah, it's four pieces. Two joysticks, a center part that has dials and switches on it and stuff, and pedals, three pedals, not two pedals, three pedals. Um, yeah, that would be amazing. And I actually have a thing that I could put it on. Yeah, apparently, apparently there is software that allows you to use... Uh, one of these steel battalion controllers with the PC, apparently. And apparently it's amazing. Um, but I do not feel like paying $300. Oh, no. <laughs> so it's $288 plus $134 for shipping. So you're still looking at roughly $400 with shipping. That's crazy. Here's one from Japan, $500 with free shipping. Or here's $420, <laughs> 420 with uh, free shipping. So not too grand, thankfully, but still not great. I should keep an eye on that. I wonder if there's one on Facebook Marketplace. Hang on. Let's see. Heal that. Heal battalion controller. Are there any on Facebook Marketplace? Oh, someone's just selling the foot pedals. Someone is just selling the foot pedals for $120. I am not even kidding. Uh, just shipped. How about just shipped? What? No. Yeah, someone is selling... Oh, there's one. $380. But with uh, with uh, four or five dollars shipping, so still uh, still over four hundred dollars. Dear Lord, uh, yeah, I'm gonna create an alert for that one as well. Okay, it's apparently an amazing controller. It's got two joysticks, a ton of like switches and dials to make it very realistic. So apparently, like, it's an amazing controller that like matches up perfectly. Yeah, go look it up. It's a th it's it's a serious motherfucking thing. It's like it's a it's a really impressive thing for apparently a not so impressive game. <laughs> apparently, it sounds like they put all their effort into the controller and not the game. That's what I've under that's what I've understood about Steel Battalion. Uh, it's it's not a very good game with an amazing controller. Um, Oh my god, no, no, I don't know. <laughs> That's so expensive. I've looked up those Vipril. Did I say it? Vipril? Uh, uh, things? Oh my god, so expensive. Now, I don't see myself replacing uh, my good old Microsoft Sidewinder Force Feedback 2 anytime soon. Uh, best joystick I think I've ever used. And yeah, I don't see myself replacing this bad boy anytime soon. No way. Uh, I've got 
like two or three others as backups also. Um, anyway. Continue. No. All right. So we just did some flight school. Well, hey, let's do one more flight school because we've got the P-80. It's a jet plane, for God's sakes. And... Um, And actually saw action like near the end. Oh, a pair of ME 262s. Oh boy. Oh boy, you guys. Here we go. Oh, wait. Where are the bad guys? Ah! Where are the bad guys? Oh, they're over. Are they, is that them right over there? Is that? Yep, that's them. Okay. Come back here. I'm gonna shoot you. Am I even shooting? I don't see any. I don't see bullets. I don't see any tracers. Come back here. Come back here. I'm gonna get you. Jet dog fighters, hilarious. <laughs> like, let's put guns on planes that are too fast to really use them effectively. Woo -hoo -hoo. What are the? Oh, oh, that that was them. This thing is a bitch. <laughs> Where are you? Where are you? Oh, really? Okay. Oh, hey. Son of a biscuit. Nice seeing you, Cafe Spy. Have a great day and thank you. Where are you guys, you bastards? Oh, there you are. Oh, now I see tracers. There we go. Come on. Hit one of them. Ooh, I like how pieces fall off. Come on, really? There we go. There we go. There we go. Very lovely. All right. So where's our base? Our base is... Oh, I can click it, apparently. Uh, two, two, three. All right, so I'm not seeing any other plane. Oh, wait, what's that? What are those two dots back there? Those might be German planes. I got to find out. Are those, are, those, are those two dots back there, those little two dots? Yeah, those two dots are probably German planes right there. Do, do you guys see those two dots right there? <laughs> yeah, we're basically flying. Oh, hey. Hi, guys. Isn't it your unlucky day? <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. Come on. I, that was a hit. That was a hit, you son of a bitch. Yeah, Fargan Isol. That was a bit. That was a hit. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Fine. There we go. Oh, thank you for flying in a nice, in a nice line. Very much appreciated. Very much appreciated. 
come on. There we go. And la 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 la. If you're happy and you know it's shooter German. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean. Not really. Uh, okay. So there were some other plans around here somewhere. Hey, look. Is it? There's a. There's a. There's a guy. Okay. That's cool. Um, I'm not seeing any other German planes around, so let's head toward our base. Uh, let's see. So that's, uh, what is it, 224? Okay. Um, I figured you could shoot the parachutes. Yeah, that's that's pretty awful. I wouldn't do that. That's a war crime. <laughs> that is a war crime that I don't want to participate in. We're seeing enough war crimes today. I don't need... <laughs> All right, so uh, I'll see. Oh, you guys want to see something funny? Look at this. Hang on. Uh, Alt T. So you can change. If your computer can handle it, you can change the level of ground detail. Look at this. So this is low ground detail. That's no ground detail. This is low. This is medium. This is high. <laughs> so, and that's the highest. So lowest, it's like, hey, I'm playing... Uh, Jet from 1987. Uh, <laughs> All right, so uh, let's see. How are we doing? Okay, we're heading back to our base. Yeah, we'll totally stress my video card. I gotta push the turbo button, you guys. <laughs> push this bad boy up to 66. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I could probably quit now. Uh, yeah, you can quit over enemy. I, I I appreciate that. That's a really nice. That's really nice usability. You don't have to do all the landing stuff. If you're over friendly airspace, you can hit Q to quit, and you won't lose. Okay, so that was fun. Uh, let's do an historical mission. Let's see. Uh, continue. No, I don't. Why would I want? No. All right. So now we'll do. Um, Twelve megahertz turbo. <laughs> oh man, my first forty-six. I think was a thirty-three megahertz. I think. Or was it a sixty-six? I can't remember now. It was a leading edge forty-six. It must have been a 66. Yeah, it must have been a 66 because it played uh, Privateer and X-Wing just fine. So it must have been a 66. Um, I think. You think I remember that? No, I'm getting conflated because my first Pentium was a 133. That's why the numbers in my head are getting conflated. Uh, so my first, my first 486 was a 66, and then my first Pentium was a 133. So that's why I get those numbers mixed up in my head. Because there was also a 48633. Uh, but that's not what I had. Um, yeah, I went from a Tandy 1000EX to an IBM PS2, which was, I think, a 286. I think. Uh, and then I went to a 486. So... Hang on, let me look at let me look it up because I'm actually curious. I don't remember, I don't remember what the specs of my IBM IBM S2 no PS2. I had the Model 25, which was the self-contained uh, thingamajiggy. Um, it was like all in. And MCGA, which is the same as VGA. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to. Rem I'm trying to find out what kind of. 
Trying to find out what kind of chip it came with. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to figure out what chip it came with. Models, there we go. Oh, that's right. It's 8086. Oh, that's right. No, I had the 8086. Yeah, I had the 8086 model with the uh, built-in MCGA monitor. That's what I had back in between 1989 and 1993. <laughs> Was, uh, yeah, one of the first PS2. Uh, the Model 25, which looked like... Uh, hang on. No, no, no. Yeah, that thing. Yes. Yeah, that bad boy. That guy. That, that self-contained thing. That was my first computer with a hard drive in it. I got a 20 megabyte hard drive in that thing. And my God. <laughs> I think I put just about every game I owned on that thing at the time. Uh, 20 megabytes. Remember how expansive 20 megabytes felt? Uh, <laughs> Woo! 20 megabytes! <laughs> oh, man. I think... I think Starflight 2, Starfleet 2 might fit on 20, a 20 megabyte drive. <laughs> <laughs> It'll never be full. <laughs> okay. Let's do uh, some historical missions now. <laughs> uh, let's do the P-38. I love the P-38. Um, so we're going to attack an airfield. <laughs> totally future-proof. <laughs> Yeah, I remember when I got uh, X-Wing, I had to delete a bunch of games off the hard drive to put X-Wing on there. Because X-Wing took up a lot of space for the time. Uh, so did Wing Commander 2. <laughs> Insert disc 8. Okay. Uh <laughs> uh. Uh. God, I remember the days of... The box would weigh a million pounds because it had like 15 floppy disks in it. Uh, okay. So let's attack an airfield. Sure. Um, wait, what? Cool, man. What kind of computer shit did you have? You couldn't run this. You had to turn off your printer to run Wing Commander 2? What? You had to turn off your printer? What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh wait, you had to turn on the printer? That's just as ridiculous. That's just That's just as silly. So 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 wait. So to get to the cutscenes of Wing Commander 2, you had to turn on your printer. What? Wait. Wait. What would, what would happen? What would happen? What? What would, <laughs> what? What would happen? I can't. I can't.
<laughs> oh yeah, that was how that uh that's what I was going to ask. What would happen if you had the printer off? Oh so it would get to part of the it wouldn't it would load part of the cutscene. Like it would load a little bit of the cutscene with King the King and his son, and then it would stop if you had the printer off. <laughs> But if you had the printer on, <laughs> it would work. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. I had a Don Matrix printer back then. I got one in with my Tandy in 1986. And my teacher was so impressed when I printed up my first report in sixth grade. But I bet you it was a dip switch. Remember the dip switches? Remember those? I bet you it was like one dip switch on the printer that messed everything up. I bet you money. It was like, because remember when those printers had like 80 dip switches in the back and you had to set them just right for your computer? Remember that? I bet you it was that. I bet you it had something to do with the dip switches on your computer, on the on the printer. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It had like a million little switches on the back, and you had to set it just right. <laughs> <laughs> Different type of dip switch, you. Um oh my god. Oh, Oh, jeez, that is, that is one of the funniest things I have ever heard, cool man. That is legitimately, oh my God, that is legitimately, and it, and it, 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 it may, and back in that day with computers, it just, it, it fits, it makes sense because computers were so unusual back then. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> printer traumatic stress disorder is that what the p and ptsd is printer traumatic <laughs> post-traumatic it's printer traumatic oh god oh my god <laughs> oh yeah i remember the master the whole master slave switch thing for the ide hard drives oh my god oh my god you, you, you fucking killed me man you killed me oh Oh, that is, I'm not even kidding. That is one of the funniest things I have ever heard in my life. And I think, it, I think only a certain subset of people would understand why that's funny. Like you would have a Venn diagram. You'd have to have a very specific Venn diagram. You would have to have a very specific Venn diagram of people who find that funny. You know what I mean? Because... <laughs> You'd have to be of a certain time playing certain games and understand 
how computers were back then, you'd have is a very small p- Venn diagram of people who understood. Like if I tried to explain that to my wife, she'd be like, "Huh? Why is that funny?" Okay, I'm glad you find that funny. She would not get it at all. Um, oh, excuse me, but oh my god, a certain. I'm gonna put that on Twitter, and I'm gonna put that on my social media today, and I want to see how many people respond because. Because, oh, my God, that is legitimately, oh, my God, that is legitimately one of the funniest things I've ever heard. That Wing Command, that Wing Commander 2 wouldn't work unless you had the printer on. Oh, my God. I know we're supposed to be playing Secret Weapons of the Luftwaffe. Yeah, 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 but, oh, my God, that is legitimately, that is legitimately one of the funniest things I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> Okay, cool, man. Before we get back to the game, how did you figure that out? How did you guys figure out that it was the printer that was causing the problem with Wing Commander 2? How did, what was the process you guys went through to figure out that it was the printer that was caught? How did, how, what did you guys do to, to, to figure out it was the printer like, was it accidental? Like, one time you started it and it was like, ooh, it's not working. And then one time you started it, oh, it's working. And you noticed the printer was on. What happened that made you realize it's the printer? I I, I have to know this. I have to know. I. Oh, that that was gonna be my guess. Basically, it's like, why isn't it working? Plug, unplug, plug, unplug, plug, unplug. Yeah, that was gonna be my guess. Oh, oh my god. Oh. <laughs> of course, because when you weren't using the printer, you'd turn it off. That's just how you'd roll back in those days. Like you, you're not using that big dot matrix. You turn it off, and then you, like, and then you forgot to turn it off, and it worked. <laughs> it was probably like, it was probably one fucking interrupt or something somewhere, some IRQ or whatever those things were that was like, oh, oh. That is a story. I swear to God. Yeah. You just turned it off when you weren't using the big old dot matrix printer. Cause just that's, that's what it was. That's, that's what it was. Yeah. It had to be some kind of interrupt IRQ nonsense thing. Yeah. You only a very small subset of gamers, let alone people gamers will get why that's funny. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Yeah, I'm gonna post that on social media, and my and my and my personal Facebook. Excuse me, and I'm gonna see how many people get it because. Uh, oh my god, I know we sh- I know we're gonna we're gonna play at least one or two more missions of this. Don't worry, but oh my god, just oh god, okay. I, I swear to you, that is the hardest I have laughed in a while. Cool man, you you win the internet today, in my opinion. You, uh, what's that? What 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 did you just post? Uh, hang on. What what did you just post? Huh? Okay, hang on. Um, you win the goddamn internet today. So that's where it would pause, like 50 seconds in. The war against the human. That's where it would pause, like right around that part is where it would pause. Oh my god. Oh. I think that might be the funniest part about this is um it didn't just like 
it didn't just like kill the game. It didn't like, oh my God. Yeah. It didn't like, uh, I think that's the funniest part. It wouldn't stop the entire cutscene. Like the game would still load and it would still go a little bit into this cutscene. And then for no re for whatever reason, it would just kill the cutscene 50 seconds in. Oh, that is the most ridiculous, ridiculous, hilarious thing I think I've ever heard. I, like, 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 why wouldn't it, why wouldn't it prevent the game from loading? Why wouldn't it stop the cutscene at the beginning? Why, <laughs> why, why would it get 50 seconds into the cutscene before doing this? Like so many questions, like, like you could load the game, you could start the game and, and you could load some of the cutscene, but then when it got to a certain point, boom. <laughs> I, I, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. That is, oh my God. That might be one of the funniest things. Oh my god. <sighs> yeah, exactly. Why not the 60 second mark? Why not the 20 second mark? Why load it at all? Oh my god. Oh. Oh god. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I just. I, 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 I swear to God, I, I just, I, oh, that is such, that is such an early computing gaming problem. You know what I mean? That is such a, <laughs> it's another one. That is such a early PC gaming problem that you'd have to be like, you'd have to be in the know of a lot of things to get why that's funny. That is such a time specific problem. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, that, I swear to God, that is one of the funniest things I've ever heard in my life. And I can only share it with a certain sub pet set of people. Like I said, if I tried to explain that to my wife, she'd be like, okay, <laughs> I'm glad you find that funny. Uh, <sighs> yeah, exactly. It is such a small subset of people who... Knew about computers, knew about computer games, knew about Wing Commander 2, knew about printers, <laughs> and knew how finicky computers were back in the day. <laughs> oh, God. Chris, was the phone line near the washing machine? Because that could totally do it. The phone line could totally mess up the, uh, could totally cause interference with the phone line. So that would totally make sense if the phone line was near the washing machine near enough. Yeah, that would totally do it. Oh man. Oh my God. That I, oh God, random ass computer problems. And I'll tell you what, that IBM got hit by lightning twice. Uh, that's why I'm so nervous about lightning. Now that computer got hit by lightning twice and had to be repaired. Um, oh, wow. So that must've been a crazy ass washing machine. Then that was causing enough interference that the phone, it must've caused some, it must uh, cause enough interference that the phone line multiple rooms away would get enough interference that you'd start to lose your dial up internet. Damn. <laughs> I, I, I used the modem so much back in the day. My grandparents got me my own phone line because they had to, because they couldn't use the phone. <laughs> <laughs> You're 
Your mom would run the washing machine to get you off the computer. <laughs> oh, man, that's great. Oh, that's what I love about playing these old Sims. It makes us remember those 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 old classic times when this was new, you know, and and we would. Uh, and this was like the only game we had for six months, so we play the hell out of it, you know. Like, oh, I can't go to Egghead Software again for six months because I don't have enough of an allowance to buy a new game. So this is what I'm good. This is the one game I'm going to play for the next four months, you know. God, back in the day. <laughs> All right. Oh my God. Oh, you tried to play X Wing versus TIE Fighter in a dial up connection. Oh, ho, 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 God, I'm sorry. That must have not been great. That must have not been great. I tried once or twice to play it on a dial up connection. Ooh, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> By the way, if you guys are all, if if you guys are curious, X Wing versus Tie Fighter is a great game today. If you use something like Game Ranger or Zero Tier, uh, it's it's really an impressive game that was ahead of its time, especially the fact that you could play two different campaigns with seven other people in co op, and the game difficulty adapts to how many people you have playing in co op. So, for 1997, it was really ahead of its time. Like, I don't think we were ready for it back then. But now, yeah, get some friends together and get get on Game Ranger or something or Zero Tier, and you're going to have a lot of fun. X-Wing vs. TIE Fighter is, is great. Uh, and it runs so well with one of those, with one of those LAN emulators. And... Um, and yeah, it's really, it's got so many different ways to play it. Not just the campaigns, but it's got like small, it's got like mini campaigns and dog fights and single missions. It's got so many different ways to play it. And it's just so fun. And, but yeah, it's what the version you can get on Steam or GOG has the balance of power uh, expansion, which includes both a, I think 10 or 12 mission Imperial campaign and rebel campaign. And you can play both of those campaigns with eight people. Uh, I believe it's eight people. And it's really impressive, actually. And um, yeah, exactly. The, the, the original game, the original game only had like these small mini campaigns that were like three or four missions each, you know? Uh, but then the balance of power thing came out that added the full campaigns and, and more missions and stuff. Uh, so, um, so yeah, exactly, Hera. So now the version you get on GOG or Steam is with the Balance of Power campaign, so it's got all the content. It has a lot of content. X-Wing vs. TIE Fighter has a lot of content. A ton of it, actually. And um, it's definitely worth playing today. Seriously. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, don't get me started on Assault Gumbo Moo. A, I, one of the most intense gaming experiences I ever had was an early TIE fighter mission in an assault gunboat where we were attacking a uh, Mon Calamari cruiser. And at one point, my shields get knocked out, and it's me and like, and it's me and like six A wings. And I am bobbing and weaving and changing speed as I'm waiting for my shields to be repaired. And I'm getting hit every so often. And the, and that, that damage indicator is slowly turning from green to yellow, you know, and eventually the shields came back and I took out all the a wings. I was covered in sweat. I was covered in sweat, but I did it. I played that mission for like an hour, hour and a half. Um, and, uh, it was like one of the most intense gaming experiences I've ever had because Jesus the A-Wings were the bane of the gunboat's existence, and I somehow survived that experience, and no one saw it. I was alone. There was no recording thing. There was no recording anything back in the day. I didn't... There was a film room, of course, but I didn't turn it on. Of course, I didn't turn it on. So, so um, 
I was very lucky that I survived that mission. Oh, yeah. Oh, incoming. Oh, yeah. I could hear the incoming missile. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. Well, X-Wings were tough as nails in X-Wing. Okay. So hang on. We have a mission to do. <laughs> Just been talking and laughing for the last 20 minutes. All right, so I'm going to take. Lead a flight of P three P-38s and strafe the aircraft hangars. Uh, oh, excuse me. All right, so let's see. Hang on. Okay, so, ah. Base and control, okay. Base and control. So we're going to strafe hangers. Okay. Um, oh, no. We're doing... Come on, you guys. Come on. <laughs> okay. So that's the can. That's the machine gun. That's the cannon. Okay. I love the P-38s. They're probably my second favorite fighter, American fighter, in uh, World War II. Um, such big, tough beasts. Such big, tough beasts. Okay, so I've got wingmen, apparently. Oh, look at that. I've got wingmen. Because they're all men. I could say wingmen. In World War II, they were all men. There were no... I don't think there were any lady pilots, were there? In World War II? I don't think there were. Maybe a couple? I know there were in Russia. Um, but not America, I don't think. Unless I'm wrong. Someone correct me if I'm wrong, but... Enjoy some cannon. Ack, 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 ack. Oh, okay, so women, uh, women did like cargo flights. I see. Go. Nicole? Hang on a second. I just heard like a thud. Here's the alarm. All right, so that thud that I heard, that thud that I heard was upstairs, apparently. It was not anything in here, so that's good. I am really glad this game has a pause feature, let me tell you. All right, so let's turn around. I really love how there's a small thing that says P-38. Like, I don't know what I'm flying, you guys. I have no idea. What am I flying? Am I flying a P-38? Okay, okay, okay. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god! Ah! <laughs> oh, I see. So they flew... They ferried things to the... Oh. That makes sense. 
So they flew, um, they flew things to the, um, That was a nice explosion. I know in Russia they they had um, they had women pilots. I know that, but I I like that actually flew in combat. I'm aware of that. <coughs> um. But, uh, yeah, I did not know about, um, I forgot about, you know, the ferry flights. Russia? Oh, that's cool. <clears throat> so we've been watching a British mystery show called Foils War uh, that takes place in World War II. And they've got a lot of actual flying spitfires and stuff in that in that show, which I can't imagine would have been cheap to um to uh to pr to produce that show because my lord, they uh, those 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 classic plants could not have been cheap. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. No, Google, I wasn't talking to you. Jeez. Oh, God, yeah, right. <laughs> or Mega Fortress. Yeah. <laughs> When's the beat gonna drop? Okay. Oh, look the 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 the, uh, the some of the buildings have been destroyed. Okay. Oops. 
Delightful. Oh, look at all those pieces flying off of it. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, those pieces flying off of it. That was pretty neat. <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine playing this without unlimited everything. I mean, I guess if you want a challenge, but that's not what I'm playing. That's not why I'm playing. <laughs> I don't want to challenge, I want to have some fun. Shoot some stuff. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh. Don't hit my friends. Look at all those pieces flying back. That's pretty cool. This game is pretty impressive for its day. I have to admit. <laughs> Secret weapons of the dubstep. <laughs> Secret dubstep of the Luftwaffe. <laughs> I don't think so. And I don't have any rockets. And uh, no bombs either. Okay. Just guns, yeah, they said it was a strafing thing. So, I might have been able to take rockets though, but I didn't. That's okay. We have the can we have that nose-mounted cannon, which is pretty great. Woo! I think we got everything. I don't think there's anything left, is there? Let's see. Uh, oh no, there's a tower left. Okay. I know, right? <laughs> this is like the slowest plane ever. All right, there's one tower left. I think that's the last thing. Oh no, wait, there's another, there's a couple planes on the ground still, I think. Yep. Beautiful. Look at them doing their job. That's really cute. <laughs> I think that's the best these games could do back in the day. Like, yeah, you're flying 500 miles an hour. It does not feel like it, though. Okay, I think there's one plane left on the ground. that's everything all right so let's see now nope oh are we taking out a bridge too okay uh bearing 201 oh wait no range 201 bearing 268 um I think we have to take out that bridge, too. Okay. 
All right. Um... So, where are we? Okay, we're nowhere near it yet. Uh... See you, David. Thanks for hanging. It's going to take a while. Even at 16 times. All right, that's fine. Still a few minutes. I'm sure we can do this. I, I can go a tiny bit long. <clears throat> Excuse me. I gotta tell y'all, I'm having a lot of fun revisiting these old games. I'm having a lot of fun. It's gonna put me behind in covering actual space games, I know, but... I'm having so much fun doing this that I'm really glad that I'm doing it. Though I do I did set myself a cutoff. The last uh, the last one we're going to do is um the uh last one we're going to do is um EF2000 and that's like in September and then uh then we're going to uh go back to doing space games for a while. Like after I'm finished with all these sims it's going to be just space games down the line, except for Yakuza, you know? Um, so we'll get caught up on space games, but right now I'm, I'm feeling this. And, oh, we're flying over a German thing. Um, that thing we're flying over. No, that's me. What is this? Oh, it's a Luftwaffe airfield. Okay. Oh, I forgot we can read the we can read the briefing even though they didn't know. I didn't see any German fighters. I didn't see any German fighters. Are there any German fighters? I'm not seeing any. Oh, they're following me. That's great. Okay, so how far are we from I guess we're taking out a bridge? That's target number two, I guess. So, all right. No, oh, come on. No, I'm not going to stream any more X4. No, I, I don't have the time. Not with all this. Um, no, it's just... Um, it's just... Um, Gonna be Starfleet on Starfleet Two on Mondays. These old Sims on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Oh, hang on. And uh, can I zoom in? Oh, I can. Look at that. Oh, bearing two eight two now. Okay. But, um, yeah, after, um, yeah, EF2000 is going to be the last g old game we cover. And then we're going to get back to doing Space Sims for a while. Um, because we're going to probably have a lot of space games to catch up on once I do, once I finish all this. But I'm really enjoying doing these classic games right now. So that's what I'm going to stick with. I feel inspired. I'm having fun. I'm going to play some games that I've never played before. Like, I never played Super VGA Harrier back in the day. I don't know why, but we're going to play it. Apparently, Super VGA Harrier can be played as, played as a strategy game. Like, you didn't even need to fly the missions. You could, like, plan the whole war, and you didn't even need to fly the missions. Um, <laughs> yeah, the X games are very Euro janky. Very Euro janky. But X4 really is, I think, one of their best efforts. 
Mm. Oh, Eastern Front, the old uh, Talonsoft game? That's a good one. Yeah, no, I love those old uh, Talonsoft games from... Uh... Oh, God, what was his name? What was that guy's name? Um, he passed away recently. What was that guy's name? The guy who did the uh, the those Talonsoft East Front, West Front games. Walters? Waters? What was his name? Uh, hang on. Hang on, I gotta look this up now. Can't, I'm, I'm, it's killing me that I can't remember his name. Um, Eastern Front, yes. Oh, East Front. Maybe I'm thinking of a different game. Yeah, I'm thinking East Front. I'm thinking the, the, the Battleground games from Talonsoft back in the day, like East Front, West Front, um, and all those. Rising Sun. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. I could be wrong, though. But I think that's the bridge we have to destroy. Yeah, that's it. 285, okay. Yeah, there it is. Let's kill it! Let's kill that bridge! No, Talonsoft made a series of games back in the day. It was East Front, it was West Front, it was... Um, Rising Sun, there were these tactical uh, war games that were really good. You can count, you can still buy them today, I think. I think, uh... Hey, we're not supposed to hit the bridge? Because they're not shooting at it. John Tiller. Well, yeah, they went over. Thank you, Joseph. They did go over to Matrix. You're right. Uh, but they were Talonsoft first, I believe. Uh, right? John Tiller. There it is. That's who it was. John frickin' Tiller. And you could still um you could still get his games over at the uh War Game Design Studio it's called. Yeah, so it's uh wargameds.com and you could st Yeah, John Tiller passed away a little bit ago. Yeah. Yeah, he passed away I think last year. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he passed away last year, which is obviously a shame. But uh yeah, he's he's got a whole series of war games and I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if people are going to keep making them. They're still selling them though. He's got some um got some air combat games I'm very interested in uh called Modern Air Power that I'm very interested in. Um, no worries, Joseph. Yeah, there's, which are like air combat strategy games. I, don't, I guess we're not supposed to fight that bridge, so why is it, uh, why is it targeted then? Is it just a... Alright, so let's go... Nine...
<clears throat> right, yeah. So, but I don't know if they're going to make new stuff now that Tiller has passed. You know, I have no idea if they're going to, like, I don't know what they're going to do. But they're still selling his old stuff. And I, yeah, there's a couple of, um, there's a couple of air strategic games that I've played the demos of and liked very much. There's War Over the Mideast and War Over Vietnam. And I played the demos and I liked them very much. Um, so I'm waiting on a sale for those. Still over... No, 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 no. I love the dedicated button to tell you... I love the, I love the dedicated button to tell you whether you're in enemy airspace or not. I, I, I love that. I love that. Yeah, he passed away last year. It was very sad because, yeah, we, we grew up... I grew up playing his games. You know, the Battlefront games, like the, the Civil War games, you know, and everything. Yeah, I grew up playing all those. And yeah, you could still buy them. He was still updating them. So they're not like the same games. They're not like the same games they were when they you bought them in like 1998 or whatever. Like he's made not only did they make new ones, but they updated the classic ones. Um Still? Wow, this is this is taking a while. Uh hang on. Three oh six. And here's the channel in all its blueness. <laughs> yeah, they've really worked hard to make X4 better, and it's really great now, especially with mods. Especially with mods. Yeah, they don't want you to quit when you're over the water either. Buildings ruined nine. Okay. No. Why would I want to fly the same mission again? I don't get that. All right, that's going to do it for today, my friends. Oh, they're video games. They're video games. Hang on. I will, uh... What was that? Hang on. Um, I love that little bit of music. War... Yeah, these guys. <clears throat> That's them. Wargameds.com. Uh, they carry on the John Tiller legacy. And they're good games. All right, that's going to do it for today, uh, my friends. Tomorrow, tomorrow we are going to try a tour of duty. I don't know if we'll try... Maybe we'll try a German tour of duty. I don't know. But tomorrow we're going to do a tour of duty. See how that goes. And then Thursday, 
We'll try a campaign battle. Um, <laughs> Printer Commander, but <laughs> Printer Commander. Uh, oh man, yeah, that was a wonderful story. That made my day. Seriously, that made my day. So yeah, we'll see you back here tomorrow with uh, a tour of duty. I don't know which one. We'll do one of them, and uh, oh, and then the podcast tomorrow. We're talking about representation in games and how it's going. Because, you know, uh, not everyone needs to be a cis white guy in a video game, huh? I don't think so. Um, so uh, we'll see you back here tomorrow. Be safe. Be well. Please take care of each other. And to in, in order to take care of each other, please get vaccinated if you haven't already. Uh, that is the best way we will get through this pandemic because there's still a pandemic going on. Uh, millions of people have died. And we don't need to, you know, we don't need any more of that. So please, if you can, please, please get vaccinated. Please. Uh, thanks so much for hanging out with me today. Oh, my God. I'm going to share that story about uh, the printer with everyone. Cool, man. That is an amazing story. And we will see you tomorrow.